I'm just getting home and look what I see. Those boxes right there, those are my floors. You guys, what's happening? They are here, the floors are here. Oh, but first, today I'm sporting my Aladdin pants. They are made of patches of silk, very fresh and very light for the summer, my girls. And you can wear it with anything. Oh, with a bikini top would be nice, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Hmm, I should give that a try this summer. Yeah, but they're fluffy and comfy. All right, my floors, my floors are here. This is happening. Well, let me go get them. This is the glue box. And, <laughs> don't laugh, don't laugh. It's just me getting my floors. Oh. Ah. All right, we're gonna open them together. I think it was in my previous video when I revealed the sample of my flooring. <clears throat> I mentioned the company that I chose to get my cork products from, but I think I may have mispronounced it. It's Jelly Neck Cork group yeah jelly neck core group and once again i'm not sponsored and i chose this company because when i was doing my research about where to get cork from they had a long history in the business and they seem very aligned with my beliefs or eco-friendly products and sustainability <laughs> so that's why i chose them and after having a few contact with customer service, I was further pleased with them. I got the cement glue from them and I got my cork flooring from them. And now I am gonna to proceed to open the, the glue so I can show you. And then if you're in the same idea or project, then you know the type of cement glue that you will need. So my first time opening flooring or any construction or design product. So here is my invoice. Let's see what it says. It says Jelly Neck Core Group 3M Trademark Fast Bond Trademark. Contact adhesive 30 NF is a non-flammable, water-dispersed, high-strength contact adhesive. Green Guard, registered certified. LEED compliant, and LEED is another group that has to do with eco-friendly and sustainable products. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to open my cork for you. I totally get that you guys don't probably feel as excited as I am. I'm gonna do this side. It's a little broken on the, oh, it's broken on the side here. But it doesn't seem that it affected anything. So let's just do this, Claudio. People are changing the channel. <laughs> so hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I know I have a, such a short attention Spam, or oh, spam, spam, spam. <laughs> oh my God, spam. <sighs> this is upside down. Okay, I'm gonna turn it around. Or oh, should I? No, I'm already open. S screw it, screw it. This is my Christmas. Ta 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 ta. And you say before I see it. <gasps> Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. You guys don't, look, look how, oh, how light this is. Oh my goodness. What I do know is you have to let the floor adapt to the environment. So they said that you want to lay down and leave it for a couple of days to, adapt because like 
most natural products like wood and in this case cork, they expand and they contract according with the temperature. I guess it's like a curing process, but look at this, look at this, I cannot, oh. Oh, I remember one of you, my dear friends, was commenting about this little dent in the cork if I, that was going to bother me um, with dirt and things, things getting stuck there. But it's barely noticeable uh, in the video. You know, I show you a super close up, like super zoom in. But these little dents are barely, barely noticeable. You can feel them, but it's barely going to be a problem. What is going to happen is I am going to continue to vacuum constantly. If that doesn't help, it might not even bother me. Maybe even enhancing and kind of leveling those little indents with dirt. And dirt, I mean, as long as it's not food or something like that, dirt doesn't bother me as long as it stays in one place. <gasps> okay, I'm going to start laying my floors there and then I'm going to display them around and, and show you Look at how beautiful. I am really happy. I'm really happy with this decision. Wow. Wow. I am going to have such a good time making it almost like a design on the floor, if possible. Oh my gosh, because every tile, you guys, is something different. It's so beautiful. This could be such a beautiful piece of art, like wall art. Ooh, can you imagine something just simple like this with a black, super cool frame? Or even with bark, like real bark frame. Ooh, do you think that would be attractive? I think, oh, and I can make little ones. <laughs> okay, something is happening in my head. <laughs> wow, dang it. Oh my gosh, I love each one and all of them. It's like, really? I'm not gonna lie, I'm very worried about <laughs> what do you guys say? Chew more than I can swallow? No. Can we chew? I don't know. Bite more than I can chew? Bite more than I can chew? I'll figure it out. But you know what I mean. The, maybe this project's to be for me. No, I'm not gonna chicken out. No, Claudia, what is that talk? Shut up. You're just gonna follow through. You feel the same way. Every, everything I have done, same thing. I started with doubt. Every single thing. I don't know why more people don't do this. It's amazing. Can you imagine cabins with floors like this? And how much warmth it's gonna bring and the temperature, the, con the insulation they're gonna provide and the softness walking on them. You know, as we get older, all of those things matter. <laughs> all of that matters. The tiles have been acclimating for a couple days. My next step is gonna be to try to find an interesting pattern and then line, line up the tiles and start to glue them down. So now I am going to go and try to find some courage to start applying the glue and get the floors done. Wish me luck and send me all your good vibes, please. I'm going to need them. Tune in for the next time and I might have some floors installed. I'm gonna stay here just <laughs> enjoying my tiles, probably more than once. <laughs> so, but you can go. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Until the next time.